right, so this is going to be another disheveled week for me, but as some of you know, I'm moving to Maryland in a couple of weeks, which is pretty exciting. Um, but in the meantime, it's been kind of crazy, and I've been in the yard just weeding the, the yard, and so it, it's been, yeah, this is me right now. <laughs> but because I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to make new videos, I thought this is a, the best opportunity that I have while things are going crazy. So here goes. And this is actually a video that I've been dreading to do. Um, it's gonna be a hard video for me. Um, any of you who have seen my other videos or some of them, there's stories in there where I'm speaking about my dad and a lot of it is not in a nice way or I shouldn't say not a nice way because it's, it's real, it's the truth, but it doesn't show him in a good light. And, and it's because he wasn't a great dad. He wasn't a good dad. But this video is not about that. This video is about me actually forgiving him and looking back on the moment where uh, he was able to show his love in the best way that he knew. Um, so yeah, you know, I'll, so many stories about I could go into of just crazy stuff that he did and again some of those are in other videos of mine but um we'll just start off with this for me growing up i was afraid of him i um you know i saw him hit my mom all the time i saw him hit my older siblings with excessive force many times so me being i was the youngest boy i was near the youngest of all the kids in the house um I was afraid. I was afraid. I. It sucked because this is the person I, that I wanted to be good. Like I said, it's going to be a tough one. But this is the person that I should have been closest to, that I wanted to be closest with. This was the role model for me. Um, and I was afraid to be around him. Um, so that's what it was. Like I, I wouldn't ask him for anything. I wouldn't ask him for money, for a haircut, or for... You know books for school I just I was I was always afraid that he was gonna come after me um, and so I, I did a lot of times I didn't and he would find out through another sibling and like hey don't don't you have a book thing because I have to give money to yeah well why didn't you say anything and I'm pretty sure he thought it was weird but for me it was a um, base out of fear right so again this is not what this video is about so I'm gonna go straight to this specific story that I want to talk about. And this was um, nearing my my senior year in high school, during my senior year in high school, nearing when I was gonna leave the house. Things started to shift in this way that for me I thought was weird and odd and intrusive, which is probably what most teenagers think, but um, I just feel like he wanted to get close to me. Um, I didn't understand why I didn't understand where it was coming from and again I thought there's something up here there's a reason why he's doing this and that'll probably be explained in another video of mine but um yeah we were things started to change I remember the, the bodyguard there was one which is you know Whitney Houston I love Whitney Houston by the way but uh the movie was released and I bought the tape and I was watching the movie and I remember he came home from work and my normal thing was just to, when he arrived, I would just leave, whatever, whatever, whatever room, living room or whatever, I would just leave and go to my room. But this time, as I was going to stop the, the uh, VHS, the movie, he stopped, he goes, no, 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 he goes, leave it on. And he's watching the movie with me and I was, I felt so tense and so odd being around him. I, I hated that because he was my father, you know, but, um, but that's how I felt, you know. And uh, it kind of, you know, just, I remember leaving after the movie was done thinking like, why is he doing this to me? It was like, why would he put me through that? And now I realize he didn't even know what I was going through or how I was feeling things because uh, he didn't think that way, you know? But uh, the next thing that happened was, so I, it was prom and I just didn't even think about asking him for anything for the prom. I probably wasn't even gonna go. 
but I remember he came up to me and he's like, hey, don't you have a prom coming up? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm like, but, but I probably won't. And it was something about graduation pictures as well. So he goes, oh, why didn't you tell me? He's like, I'll give you money for the graduation pictures. I'm like, okay. And he goes, and don't you need like a limo and a tuxedo for the prom? And if I find some of the pictures, I'm sure I have them, but I'll, I'll post them. But I said, yeah, but um, I just probably won't go. He goes, no, 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 you have, you have to go. You have to do all this. Which was weird because again, he never really talked to me like that. You know, it was just ah, so weird. But he he did pay for my graduation pictures, and we did go shopping for a tuxedo, and he paid for my limo, and and uh, I did go to the prom. I had a great time that week of the prom. Uh, I remember it was crazy. Me and my friends, we were going out, we were partying, we were drinking drinking apple juice because we were underage <laughs> but uh, so we had a good time and I remember like that week I was spent I just spent so much time going to uh, Six Flags and just all these crazy places by the time I got back home I was just wasted I was just done tired I remember crashing on the sofa and when I woke up later I there was a ring on my finger my dad always had this gold ring with an M because uh, his name also starts with an M. And so when I woke up, I saw this ring on my finger. This was his, you know, that was my dad's ring. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, was that that drunk that I put on his ring and I don't remember it? So, and it was summertime, of course, everyone's downstairs. And so I, I go downstairs and I'm like, I'm like, Bobby, I'm like, I, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I don't know how I got your ring, but I put it on my finger. And he was like, no, no, that's, that's yours. I got that for you. And um, he put it on my finger while I was asleep. <sighs> I told you this was going to be a tough one. But, um, you know, he just said that he was so proud of me. And he hugged me and he gave me a kiss. Um, the other thing that was happening at the time was that he'd found out that I had joined the military. And so I remember just after I went to boot camp and I went back home and my boot camp picture, he's, you know, he wanted the big, the big one of me and he framed it. And, you know, so when I went to visit, it was there in the living room. And, um, yeah, I remember I was like, wow, I can't believe you have it here. I figured it'd be somewhere like in a closet. He's like, no, and he goes, I, I tell everybody when they come over, this, this is my boy, this is my son. Um, you know what, what I realize now is that uh, I think I was you know not that it's my fault but I think I was waiting for him to meet me where I was at and me obviously I was a very emotional sensitive kid and he wasn't like that to, to him and the way it is culturally the way you the way you're a good father to food on the table in the house and in you know, a place to lay your head and, and to be warm and to be clothed and so that to him that was what made him a good dad and for me it's like I I needed something different I didn't care about that and again for some of you who have seen some of my other videos you know I've been able to live bare minimum you know but what I needed was love and I needed um, appreciation and closeness and that just that wasn't him and again I'm not this video isn't to defend him necessarily because there will be other videos and I will go into it and I'm going to go hard because, not because I want to go hard, but because it's my reality and it's the truth. So that's going to be what it is. But this video, she has to say that in spite of all of that, that I do, um, I have forgiven him and I love him. And even though I have decided not to have him in my life and Again, that'll probably be other videos, but um, as why, and it really has nothing to do with this part of it. Um, but uh, I do appreciate him. I, I love him. I appreciate everything that he's done. And now being older, and I think something happens when you have space, you know, like when you're in the moment and it's happening, it's currently happening to you. It's pretty easy to see things through your lens and you move on and there is space between you and the situation I think you can see things through a different lens 
um, or a different angle, I should say. It's the same lens, but a different angle. And so from this angle where I'm at now in my life, I um, I love my dad. I do love him. I appreciate him. Uh, and I do recognize how he loved. It was different, way different than what I wanted, what I think I needed. But it was all that he could provide, I think. Um, with everything else that was going on, I think he loved me the best way that he knew possible. And so for that, I, I do say thank you. Um, and I'm gonna cut this video short now because uh, I don't wanna cry anymore. I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but yeah, it's not been easy for me. <laughs> um, if, but if you guys had a similar situation, a similar story, please comment. I wanna know, I wanna know if you're still processing it, if you're still trying to get over your situation, if you have, if there are any tips, because I'm not saying that I'm clearly on the other side. Um, so any advice you could give, I would appreciate it. Not just to me, but and to anyone else who's viewing this video and might need your advice. I might, I'll say for them, I, I'm sure that they will appreciate it as well. So please um, like, subscribe would be great, um, but comment, okay, um, next time.